Hey guys, welcome to another video. In this video, I will show you how to handle form validation using Formic and YAP libraries in Next.js. As you can see, we have two forms for sign up and sign in here. Now, if I click this button, we will see this error message saying all inputs are required. If I click the first input and click outside, we will have an error message and all inputs border will get read color. If I add a name less than four characters, it will not be accepted. And if I add more than 10 characters, it won't be accepted as well. Then we will have an email type validation for email input. For the password, we ask the user to type characters based on our regex condition, which you can see an error message here. And finally, for the confirm password, we will get an error message if the passwords are not matching. We will have the same process for the sign-in form as well. Alright, now let's get started. Ok guys, I am inside my VS Code. As you can see, I have already generated the Next.js application. I have already prepared the UI of this project. You can clone this project from my GitHub. I will leave the link in the description. As you can see in here, we have two branches. The first one is main, which is the prepared UI. And the second one is formic, which is the complete project. You can clone that or just download the zip file. Okay, now let's open the VS Code. As you can see, we have a few folders in here. The first one is app. The second one is components. So inside this components, as you can see, we have some folders. The first one is art. The second one is login. So inside this login component, I will have all my inputs for the logins. So as you can see, I have a reusable input in here. So I will explain that later on. And inside this sign up, as you can see, I will have this reusable input again and some styling. Inside this art component, as you can see, I set a condition. So I use this user state hook because I will have a button inside the form to toggle between sign up and sign in forms. As you can see inside the browser, our main form is gonna be sign up form. But if I click this button, I will be redirected to the sign in form. Now inside the utils folder, as you can see, I have this input. So this is a reusable input. Later on, I will explore that more. So I'm gonna open the sign up page here. And as you can see, I have this inputs. So I have label type plus holder and name for each input. And down here, I have mapped to this inputs array. And as I said, I have used this reusable input in here and just sent this item to this reusable component. Now inside this reusable component, I have the structures, everything here and just add them to my input. And as you can see, I have a variable here called error. This is just a temporary variable. Later on, we will change this with far make error message. Now, if I change this error to be true, as you can see, this error message will be displayed. All right. Now let's bring that to be false. Now, first of all, we need to import a use formic from formic. You can install that inside your terminal. Just write npm install formic and you will get this package. Now, down here, the first thing which we need to do is we need to get a variable here and write this use form hook. Inside this use form, at first, we need to have an initial value. So, we are going to write all the inputs that we have. And it must be the same as the input's name in here. As you can see inside this variable, we have these names. So this initial value should be the same as these names. 
and we need to set that to an empty string okay now we need to get our value from our input so up here i'm gonna have a new function now we need to get this event here it is coming from on change from input okay so at first we need to get target from event down here we need to write for make dot set field value the first argument is gonna be target dot name and the second argument is gonna be target dot value so we are gonna get each input value based on your name now let's pass this function here and inside this input component we are gonna get that and write an onchain function here now let's check if we can get the value of these inputs. I'm gonna write a new function here and call that register user and just alert this formic.values that username. Now we are gonna have an unsubmit inside this form to register user. Okay? Now if I click this button, as you can see we will get this alert here which is currently empty because I didn't write anything inside this username input okay now if I write something here and click you can see we will get the text inside this alert it means that we could successfully get the value of each inputs alright now we need to validate this inputs using another library called yap so I'm gonna import everything as yap from yap Again, you can open the terminal and just write npm install yap. Okay, I have already installed this. Now down here inside this formic object, we need to write a validation schema. We are gonna get yap.object.shape. So it is coming from yap library. Inside here, we need to write all our inputs name. So I'm gonna copy and paste them here now inside here we need to write all our validation conditions so at first for the username i'm gonna write yap that is string the type is gonna be string that required it's gonna be required for the user to fill the input minimum character is gonna be 4 and maximum is 10. now i'm gonna comment out this 3 in here and let's check how it works but before that we need to write our unsubmit function here so i'm gonna write unsubmit it's gonna be equal to register user now we need to change this unsubmit here to formic dot handle submit okay now if i click this here you can see it is not doing anything because we have the validation but now if I write a text here inside this username which is just three letters you can see still it's not working because the minimum characters is four but if I increase that and click the button you can see this alert will be printed here and you can see we have maximum characters if I write word more than 10 characters you can see the button is not working again all right I hope you understand that now let's write for the email it's gonna be yap.string required and the type is gonna be email okay let's write for the password it's gonna be yap.string that required that matches so we are gonna copy and paste this regex code in here this regex code i copied that from google so we ask the user to write a password that matches this regex. Now for this re-password, we are going to confirm our password using this one. The type is going to be string, again required. But we need to check this password should be the same as the previous password. So I'm going to write here one of, inside here we need to have an array, yap.ref. So our reference is going to be this password. We need to set here null okay and now we need to type a message here an error message okay now let's check you can see it's not working because we need to write our email again i'm gonna click it's not working and if i write a password here which is not matching with our regex and click the button you can see it's not working again but now if I write a real password in here and write the same password in the second input 
and click the button you can see we will get this alert all right now let's print our error message so at first i'm gonna pass this format to our input this reusable component i'm gonna get that in here and down here i'm gonna delete this error here okay and instead of this error i'm gonna write formic.errors and inside this array we are gonna write name okay now this is our error message i'm gonna type that inside this span tag now if i click this button you can see all the error message will be printed here but now i want my input to have a read border and we need to change this double quote to be a template string okay and down here we need to set a condition i'm gonna copy this error message here and say if this is true we want to have a border read and 400 otherwise we will have this empty string now let's check you can see all my inputs have this read border but as you can see if i click this input i have a focus border here i'm gonna change that to read as well so in here we need to get this focus here and change the border okay now you can see the error message with the read border will be inside our form and they will be disappeared when our text matches with our validation okay now here we have a problem if i click the input here and click outside you can see we won't see any error message now let's print that error message so inside this input we are going to have this on blur function which is equal to formic.handleBlur. Now we need to set another condition in here as well. It's gonna be formic.tag and name. Now if I click this input and click outside, you can see the border and the error message will be printed here. Now you can see they are working perfectly. Now if I fill this form here, but this time I want to print this password here. If I click this button, you can see this password will be printed here. Alright guys, we are done with the sign up form. Now let's move to the login form. Okay, we have this error, so don't worry, we will fix this error. I'm going to copy everything from sign up component to the login component and send this handle change to our input okay now you can see we don't have any error but as you can see we have only three input here we don't have any confirm password in here so i'm gonna delete that as you can see our error message is printed here but since we have error with our name now let's check it okay we have name duplications in here I'm gonna change them it's gonna be email and this one is password now if I click this input and click outside you can see this error message will be printed here all right now let's change this function name here I'm gonna change that to be login user and again we need to have an on submit function inside this form it's gonna be formic dot handle submit all right Okay guys, that's it for this video. I hope this video was helpful for you. If you want to watch more videos like this, please like the video, leave a comment and give a subscribe to my channel. See you in the next video.